Okay, this is going to be a quick demonstration of the setup for the enzyme lab. Basically, the idea is that we're going to have uh, different concentrations of enzyme and substrate in the reaction chamber here, and we're going to see how quick the reaction is going. Now, in order to do that, we are going to have to capture the oxygen gas that is going to be produced because we're working with hydrogen peroxide and the enzyme catalase. The enzyme catalase breaks down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. So we're going to capture the oxygen that is being produced in the reaction chamber and traveling through the hose, and then we're going to have to have a way to capture and see how fast the oxygen is being produced. To do that, we're going to take a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder and fill it right up to the tippy tippy top, and then we're going to overturn this in the water, which takes some practice, but you'll be able to get used to it. Now we have a column of water here, so we're going to put the end of this hose underneath carefully the graduated cylinder and hold it up. Now any oxygen gas that's produced in the reaction chamber will travel through the hose and end up displacing this column of water as the gas accumulates. So we will be able to see how quickly the gas is accumulating in the graduated cylinder as it displaces the water. So let me just give a little bit of a demo. It might be a slow reaction, so I'm just going to, just as an example, here's some enzyme. Now, now you, you got to be have a system and be ready to go with your partner timing and have somebody who's going to collect data. And because as soon as you add the substrate to the reaction chamber, the reaction is going to occur. So you want to get the cork on there as quick as possible and start the stopwatch and take measurements every 10 seconds of how much gas has been produced. So if I pour the substrate in there and I cork it and I agitate it by leaving it on the desk and I just agitate it like this, you'll see the reaction rate is kind of slow, but there are some bubbles being produced. So after 10 seconds you would look, it looks like there's just not even hardly one milliliter of gas released yet. The reaction rate is going kind of slowly. Another 10 seconds, your partner would call out 20, and you would say, okay, there's about 2 milliliters. Then they would call out 30, you'd say 3. And so on, and you would do that every 10 seconds until you get to 90 seconds. Once you're done with that trial, you can take off the take the graduate cylinder and let the water out. You can take the cork out of your reaction chamber and pour it in the sink, rinse it out well, and then you're ready for your next mixture of uh, enzyme and substrate. You probably have to scoop out some of the water so it doesn't overflow. This is a messy lab, so if you spill a little water, that's okay. And then you would just do the whole thing over again. Fill up the graduated cylinder to the tippy top. Tip it over. Add a little more water in here. Make your next mixture. Get everything all set. Put your hose under carefully. And start your next trial after you've added it in, okay? And once you're done, the same thing, undo and repeat for all of the trials. I hope that was helpful.